I only have my iPhone to record with. Are there any tricks to get a better recording as my home recording sucks at the moment? Yeah, there are a few. If you type Pete John's No Gear, N-O-G-E-A-R, I would go and watch this one, my friend, because uh, four years ago, I did exactly this. I showed you how to record in GarageBand using just the built-in microphone and a pair of earbuds. It'll show you exactly how to use just an iPad or an iPhone, the distance from the mic to use, uh, how to monitor your sounds, how to use your settings and your EQ to, uh, to get yourself the best possible sound without any gear. You say it might be sound stupid. No. I know some people that use nothing but the built-in mic on their devices for the longest time. I know folks that have used like a $10 iRig knockoff through their headphone jack. Gary Hubs. Gary Hubs used to use like the absolute minimalist gear, created amazing music. He's upgraded his gear a bit, but his music has still been like it was always great. So you don't need a lot of gear. Use what you have now and start recording because the techniques you learn about how to get the right recording, how to get the best quality at the source, how to then use things like EQ and compression to enhance your music, those aren't going to change whether you've got a $100 studio or a $10,000 studio. They're just going to become a little bit easier. But sometimes, it's kind of like when you're, you're playing sport. If you, I love hockey. And if you've got you know, a $100 pair of skates and a $100 hockey stick and you go out there and you become great with those, yeah, sure, it would be great to go out and buy a $1,000 stick and a $1,000 pair of skates. But if you're learning on those, it's kind of overkill. That's why when, when people set out their studios and they buy these huge interfaces and they buy like these racks of gear and I'm like, are you actually recording any music yet? And they're like, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm learning. I'm like, ah, with all due respect, you should probably learn on a $100 interface with a $100 pair of headphones and a $100 microphone um, instead of spending 10 grand to set yourself up and kick yourself out because you, you still haven't learned the basics. And some people are so, so keen to get into all the gear and all the shininess that they forget that it's about writing good songs and recording them in a quality way.